Hey guys, it's uh, Crick Shazin here, back from CNA Small Engine. I'm giving an, uh, another update video. Um, I'm basically, I was uh, experimenting with uh, my brother-in-law's uh, Mosin Egging up here over the weekend. Uh, it's uh, Sunday around uh, 7 o'clock here, so it's a little bit darker than I, I anticipated it right now. Uh, basically, the reason I was making a video was I put a new sight on his uh, Mosin Egging, as you see down here. The sight originally, let me get it out of here for you, sorry about that. His original site was, uh, like, it was canted on it. Basically, the thing was, um, uh, basically, I'm just I'm gonna get a better picture. Hold on, guys. Let me flip this thing around for you here. This thing's kind of bored, so the gun's completely empty. And basically, right now, the site is over to the right, if you're looking at it from the from the breach side right there. And it's basically, uh, in a position where it's relatively, um, uh, straight on a target, so let me, let me show the back pictures here where I was shooting at with his ammunition. Basically, I was getting the sight in back in here because the thing was always canted on the front end on there for that, so here's the ammunition I was shooting at. I was just testing with the experimental stuff I had from like the uh, PPU. This is what the front of the cartridge looks like right here. See that it has uh, 15 cartridges. It's a 7.62 by uh, 54R. It's the uh, M30 designation on here as it as listed on here for that. And it's manufactured by PPU in the lower left corner you see down here as well too. So that's what it has on. And this is where it was shooting at originally. Basically the PPU ammunition was shooting. Let me get a better picture for you guys here. There we go. Okay. This is the Yugo ammunition as I marked down here basically. We're shooting all up in this right hand quadrant. It's about 30. It's about 30 uh, yards up there for you. I was trying to sight it in this, at the... At the uh, uh, closest possible range I had, but uh, it was basically shooting high right up, up here. So basically, the, the majority of them they were shooting right about here, where I was typically aiming below the target up here. So it's shooting about maybe about four, five inches high into the right over here for that. Then I gradually moved it over to the position where it's at right now. You can see it right down here is over. It's off to. The right as it is right there for that. Let me see if I can get a better picture for you guys on the top side right here. There you go. That's probably about as clear as I can make it right there for you. Sorry about the camera not focusing right. And the last ammunition I was shooting at was your typical uh, Circle 10 factory. This is Circle 10 copper wash uh, 1972, I believe, on there for it. So I was shooting okay. Headspace is good. No uh, major problems extracting it. Silver tip, 149 grain. Uh, the heavy ball, this is 182 grain for this the PPU stuff right there. It's both, both of them are corrosive, so you have to clean the gun after you shoot them as well. Uh, the grouping for the PPU seemed to be uh, pretty reasonable, if you can call it that, from a, a bad um, a bore rifle. This one is uh, counterboard down side here. You can't see the rifling on here, so it's counterboard down about maybe about a one, it's about an inch and a half, almost two inches down. So it's right about here where it's kind of bored down to the, uh, the or I should say the, the, the um, uh, I'm gonna call it the, the crown right there for that. They did that mainly because after World War II, the things were shooting, wasn't, weren't shooting too good. So they had the kind of board to increase the accuracy for that. And the ammunition over here, the uh, Bulgarian Circle 10. These were the last shots I was taking with that stuff. Basically, I was just had my typical sandbag. I had it sitting on a um, a big a big uh, log up there, and it was just it's a piss poor way. I just want to see how it was going to be okay after you know, about 15, 20 shots up there. So I wasn't I wasn't really doing any kind of serious uh, I'm gonna call it uh, changes for it. And here's the last shots I was taking right here for that. I was basically shooting right down here. And then it was hitting one, two, three. So it was shooting about four to five inches high. And that's basically the bulk of where they were shooting at with the typical cheap and dirty surplus.